Hey YouTube viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited to talk to you about my favorite place that I visited when I was on my Europe trip in November 2022. During my trip, I stayed in Switzerland and while I was there, I spent one day at a popular tourist attraction called Mount Pilatus. If you're planning to go on Mount Pilatus and would like to learn more, you've come to the right place. Keep watching and I'll tell you everything you need to know before making a trip there. In this video, I'll provide a brief summary of the following things. General information about Mount Pilatus, how to buy tickets, how to get there, things to do, and general tips. As always, feel free to skip ahead to a specific section of this video if you'd like, but before you proceed, please show your support by giving this video a thumbs up and smashing the subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get started. General information. Mount Pilatus is a mountain in the center of Switzerland. It is composed of several peaks, the highest of which is 2,128.5 meters tall. It is one of the most popular excursions from Lucerne and in my opinion is worth the visit. There are a variety of activities available on the mountain and there is definitely something there for everyone. With its breathtaking views and beautiful scenery, this place will make you appreciate the natural beauty that Earth has to offer. Tickets if you plan on doing a day trip to Mount Pilatus, which is what I did, I'd recommend purchasing either the golden or silver round trip ticket, the latter being about 25 francs cheaper. For both these tickets, you start off in Lucerne, travel to Alpnextad, take the cogwheel railway up to Pilatus, and then when you descend, you take an aerial cable down to Crean and take a bus back to Lucerne. The only difference between the two is that for the golden round trip ticket, you take a boat on Lake Lucerne from Lucerne to Alpnextad instead of the train. In terms of where you can buy these tickets, there are three places that I know of. One is at a booth called VBL Travel Agency in Lucerne Station. Another is called SBB Reise Centrum, which is also in Lucerne Station. And the last place is at Pilatus Shop Lucerne. For your convenience, I've added a Google Map link to these places in the description below. Another thing that I wanted to mention is don't worry about buying these tickets ahead of time. They never run out of space. In fact, I'd recommend to purchase the day of because the ascent and descent to Mount Pilatus is weather dependent. If it's too rainy or windy, sometimes the cogwheel railway or aerial cable don't operate. Now, if you plan on staying multiple days in Mount Pilatus or within the vicinity, there are other ticket options available. For more details, I've listed a link in the description below. How to get there. Most people visit Mount Pilatus from Lucerne. If you are in Lucerne, as mentioned, you can purchase tickets from the train station. Mount Pilatus is also accessible from other places. For example, if you happen to be staying in Alpnextad, Krien, Krienzreg, or Schreckmuntig, there are ticket booths in the area where you can purchase tickets to Mount Pilatus. Things to do. There are so many activities that you can do in Mount Pilatus. A one day trip is definitely not enough time to do them all. I was in Mount Pilatus for only one day and some of the activities that I did include hiking the Dragon Trail, venturing into Dragon World, and taking the cogwheel up and down Mount Pilatus. I honestly wish I could have stayed there longer. I feel like if I were to stay there for a week, I wouldn't even get bored. Just to name a few activities that I didn't get to do. I didn't get a chance to visit Pilu Rope Park, which is one of the biggest rope parks in the world, go zip lining from Frank Moutique to Crien, join an Ibex safari tour in the summer, hike along the treetop paths, go snowshoeing between Crinsereg and Frank Moutique, and the list goes on. Tips. Here are a few general tips before you make a trip to Mount Pilatus. Number one, Swiss travel pass. If you have purchased a Swiss travel pass, make sure you take advantage of it since you can get a discount at most places in Mount Pilatus. Number two, if you've purchased a golden or silver round trip ticket, make sure you depart in the morning. It takes about three to five hours to go through the entire circuit. Also, the cogwheel railway and aerial cable stop operating around six in the evening depending on the season, so you don't want to be stranded at the top of the mountain. Number three, dress warmly. Mount Pilatus has an elevation of about 2,000 meters. When you get to the top, it'll feel a lot colder, so make sure you bring extra layers. Also, if you plan to go hiking in the winter, I'd recommend using climbing crampons because the hiking paths can get pretty steep and icy. And that's a wrap. 
Thanks for watching my video. I hope you found all the information you need about Mount Pilatus. If you have additional questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'd be more than happy to answer them. Lastly, if you like my content, please show your support by giving this video a thumbs up and hitting the subscribe button. See you next time!